I feel people need to get out more often and go see gigs to start with. It's to do with, you know, getting out there, active in your community, supporting local arts. And for starters, it's, it's good fun. One, two, three, four. Chris gave me a call on a Friday and was like, oh, we got a gig at the Monkey Bar. We said, oh, we'll catch up, you know, for a jam, like probably two hours and wrote seven songs and yeah, I'd say it was four or five years ago. And we just wanted to like, you know, knuckle down and settle down and actually have a lineup that we could be proud of and all write together. And as soon as we had the two boys, like Dylan, he can, you know, he's a, he's a genius when it comes to recording and ideas and Dave has his own little special flavor on things so it was good <laughs> and Chris and I we've been playing together for ages so it's like you know we had that old school kind of vibe from the band from the start so a lot of what people have said is that you can tell that these four dudes on stage are best mates and it allows us just to like fully engage with the audience as like a whole it's a feeling of, of freedom where you get to express yourself um, creatively in front of people, you know, express myself 100%. It's all about expressing, it's a freeing feeling expressing yourself like that. The best one was probably Crap Fest. I just remember two songs in and I look up and there was like 3,000 people there and then everyone's just like crowding in and it was just like, yeah. as the sun come down, all of a sudden it's dark and then just put that like, big festival lights going on and it was just like the best thing. Social media is a massive part in, in music now. Mm. Whereas if you were to look 15 years ago, social media wasn't really around. You know, before MySpace, things like that, it was it was all about rage and you mm. know those kind of you know MTV. You've got some bands out there that can't play live, need a lot of backing tracks, things like that, but they sell a lot of records. Mm. You know, because they sound good recording. Whereas with you've got other bands that are one of the best bands you've ever seen live and the most talented musicians and... Yeah, personally, it, it can be frustrating sometimes yeah. as, as someone that's in a band and you see people that aren't good performers mm. that are making a living out of it when they can't perform. Especially when you play... it's a hard skill, yeah, you have to learn. Music is what we were born to do, sort of thing, in a way. As long as we're having fun, it's, it would always be just an outlet for us to express our enjoyment. We have a really intense vibe when we're on stage with each other. And when that's like fully clicking, we have a lot of fun, and that's what Indigo is. We're more of a live band, kind of, I guess. Yeah. You could say that. We're not really inspiring to be anybody. We just play, we have all these influences, we play together, and when we're like, had kind of a few years and we're like feeling good and just make music and that's what it is. And we were just doing it for fun, it was wherever we could get with playing music we were happy with, you know what I mean? Like, as long as we were having fun and having a good time and people were enjoying it, we were, we were loving it. It's not about success at all, it's about playing music and enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of guys try and you know, push as hard as they can, three or four years, that's it. But at the same time you're stressing yourself out, you're not living, you're not having a, you're not having a good time playing. What's the point of creating if you're not going to create something that you enjoy? Enjoy it, isn't it? If you love to have a good time and you like good music and you like to dance, come to an indie show.